In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to better use a model. Currently, uh, we have in our home control room just passing in an array of strings. It works, but that's not really powerful. We're object-oriented programmers. We need to learn how to use the model inside the MVC. So I'm going to create a model. I'm going to create a model for my desktops. I'm going to create a model for my laptops. And I'm going to demonstrate how to pass in either an array or a list of these things into my views and use them. The main thing you get out of this is how to create a model. So I'm going to go to my Solution Explorer. And I'm going to right click my models and add a new model. This is a class. So call it whatever you want. We call mine desktop. And I get public class desktop. And I'm going to create my setters and getters. A simple way to do this is use prop, tab twice, give it a data type, tab again. Name, and then it'll automatically create setters and getters. You can also fill them in with a tab there. See how it just kind of gives it to you. Come back and modify. If you want more control over your setters and getters, propful will give you a bigger object. I'm not a big fan of propful. But it does work. Um, this gives you more control over your setters and getters. So if you want to specialize setters with, you know, logic checks in there or whatever. I can right click and generate a constructor. And I did that right click by doing that quick actions. All right, so we have a basic class. And these can be as simple or as complicated as you would like. Okay, so I'm now going to use this in my controller. Let's start by cleaning up some of the mess I have. I'm going to get rid of this right now. I'm going to come back to something very similar, but I'm going to make it go away. And likewise, in my home controller, I'm going to lose this simple string I built here. Get this run my program, make sure it still works. I didn't blow anything up. All right, so we're not dying. Okay, good. All right, so let's mo add our models. We can make these things globally. We can make them across all projects, but I'm going to put them right here. Now, traditionally, this is how you type it. But as you see here, if I hover over it, new can be simplified. You just simply need new there. You don't need to put new desktop. It's weird, but it's legit. I'm just making these numbers up. All right, so I've created a couple objects. I'm going to pass them into the view the same way I did before, just create an array right here. Um, I can also create an array up above. I'll do that later with my laptops. Now, you may wonder how it knows that desktop exists. If you may import file, this using computer store models makes all of my models here global throughout the majority of my project. Um, if not, you have to add that to the top of your class. But typically it's there. So I'm now going to go to my CSHTML file. And I'm just going to make it a nice pretty table.
These are bootstrappy classes I'm using. There are quick ways to do this with models, and I'll show you some of those in the future. But I prefer to learn the tools before you learn the tricks. This for each loop is simply going to draw, generate a row for me. Since I created a rig of type desktop, I get the drop. All right, so let's see if we get our three computers back. We do. I need to make that look better, but I do. So I'm going to make this have currency. Now, this is a really weird format. We're going to put the format for currency around here. So I'm going to display a dollar sign. I'm going to make my string. Did I do that right? No, I missed a curly brace. Basically, it says format this as currency. And I need, uh, we need closing parentheses. There we go, it's happy now. So that should be currency. Let's run this. It's money. Nice. Um, you can play games with bootstrapping, left align, this stuff, column align. It's, I'll let you play that. All right, so we built one, let's build another. I need a laptop. Well, laptops are desktops just to carry them. So I'm going to use inheritance here. So I'm going to add a new class. I call it laptop. Laptop is going to inherit off of desktop. Which, as you should know, means I get everything that desktop has, which is name, price, and RAM. but I need to handle that in the constructor. So let's make this thing work. Uh, yes, I'm gonna put a screen size. I'm just passing it to you in here, guys. Screen and weights. Uh, weight will be an in, so I'm gonna do full pounds, three pounds, four pounds. I could use decimal there to do 3.5. I'm just choosing to use whole numbers. I'll create my constructor. Actions, generate constructor. But I also have to pass in the three things from my desktop constructor. So I'm going to come here and copy these. Put them in the beginning. And then I'm going to call the parent constructor. Inheritance, we have our laptop class. Controller, I'm going to do something similar, except I'm going to create a list of them, as opposed to passing in an array, just to prove you can. So find my laptop class, I'll leave my sale message there. I'm calling it list, it's not a true list, it's just an array.
I don't know if any of these things make any sense in reality. I'm just making stuff up. Also, I don't own any of these products I'm listing here. They're all good products. Put my red laptop in here. It's a beast. And I'll pass listen to here. This is a little more realistic to build an array and pass the array in here. Um, you can build this array using databases, using files, web services, whatever you need, and you pass that in. Go to my laptop's file. And I'll handle it. Um, we basically use the same table I used before, so I'm going to copy it over. Oops, wrong file. Why reinvent the wheel, right? So I need to add a couple of DHs here. So I need to add a screen. Weights for each laptop. And I put some words after it. Let's run it, see if it works. Piece of cake. All right, so you've learned how to create a model in ASP.NET. You've learned how to populate the model and create an array in the controller, and you've learned how to pass that array into your classes. You also saw how to use inheritance in C Sharp. All right, thank you. Good luck.